Hey friends, this is Wilcox here. There we go. I hope that you're having a great week so far. Happy Wednesday. We have a little bit more learning today. And remember, this is our last week of school. So you guys are almost officially third graders. That's super exciting. I'm going to switch my screen and show you what we're doing today. All right, here I am on our Wednesday page. Remember, you're going to choose those three activities after you watch my video. Um, remember, you can do less or more if you'd like to. We just want to make sure that we're working on school for an hour to an hour and a half each day, okay? Here's how you can check in with me at 11 a.m. on Zoom. We'll be doing reading a Time for Kids magazine. This is our last issue of Time to Read, and I'm really excited. I picked out a good one. You can read a picture book of your choice or a chapter from a book you're already reading, and then write me a paragraph telling how you are the same or different than a character. And actually, you're not writing it for me. You'd be writing it for a family member to read, okay? So it's really important for us as readers to think about the characters and the stories and how we relate to them, how we are the same and how we are different, and that way we can uh, be better able to understand them and we can even learn some new things about ourselves sometimes, okay? All right, here's our Flipgrid activity. Lots of friends have been going on Flipgrid multiple times throughout the day and posting lots of videos, and that's super great. So I hope that you get a chance to go on there and watch those videos, even if you don't want to post your own video. I know friends would love to see your faces if you could, but if you didn't want to, then go on and watch those videos. They're super fun, okay? You can even reply to people's videos. So after you watch their video um, and, and during while you're watching it, there is a little green circle at the bottom that kind of has a chat bubble, um, kind of like a speech bubble we would write in a picture to label what someone's saying in their dialogue. But you can click on that and then it takes you right to record a video just to reply to that one, okay? So go check those out. Also, if you posted a video, make sure that you look to see if you've had any replies to your video you posted, okay? All right, here's our math activity. We're working a little bit on getting to know what a meter is and all about meters. Um, and so after you watch that video, then can you measure the distance around your house? So there's a couple ways we can do it. Um, you can walk with the um, your heel to the tip of your toe and then keep doing that all the way around your house and that would be about a foot. Remember our foot with the shoe on it is about a foot. That's a good estimate for that. And then if you took that number and you divided it into groups of three, so say I had the number nine and I put three here and three here and then three down here, that would be nine. So that would be three meters is the same as nine feet, okay? All right, friends, and our healthy habit activity, we're still talking about exercise, and today I have a video all about the muscles and how our muscles in our body um, control and really help us do all that movement, okay? Our last art activity is making paper airplanes. I know we did that at the beginning of the year, and so I wanted to give you a video guide so you guys could make those, and I also have a challenge for you if you make two paper airplanes and then do something different to either one, so I suggested maybe coloring one with marker or crayon and the other one with something different or one with markers, one with crayons. You could even put like a paper clip on them or attach um, a favorite toy or a block or something, um, a different one to each, each of those paper airplanes and then see which one flies farthest and then think about why that happened, okay? All right, friends, and click here, go to home and find that number two and see if there's any extra resources you'd like to do today. Um, Flipgrid can also count as one of those extra resources. I know lots of friends are spending a lot of time on that and just checking Today, it says that we have done nine hours of shared learning. Well, that's awesome, my friends. That means that us um, making videos and sharing those and, and watching those videos back is helping us to learn and to become um, more informed and better readers and better writers and, and even just talking about our ideas and hearing other people's ideas. Those help boost all of those things, okay? So keep up the great work. Have a great Wednesday, and I will see you later.